we first need to find out the center of our page. The length of my page is 21 cm. So I'll be marking the midpoint at 10.5 cm. The width of my page is 15 cm. So I'll be marking the midpoint at 7.5 cm. point where the horizontal and vertical lines intersect is the center of our page. Now we need to create sections for our mandala. I'll place the protractor or D in such a way that its center and base lines align well with the center and base lines of the page. I'll start marking points at 10 degrees each. This will help create 36 equal sections. I'll repeat the process on the other side as well. This step is very important and we must mark the points very carefully. Now I'll connect each point with the center. This should be done very precisely and if we fail to do so, we'd not be able to achieve uniformity in the mandala patterns. Now we need to draw concentric circles with the help of a compass. I do not measure the distance between each circle, however, I prefer to space them out somewhat equally. This is just to ensure a smooth transition in the size of the mandala patterns that we'll be drawing in the later stages. You may space each of them out at 5 mm roughly. We are now ready with the mandala base or grids. If you want to learn the process of drawing a complete mandala, you may check out my previous video. I have linked it in the description box. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. It would be really nice if you share your feedback in the comments. Thank you everyone.